The RAH-66 Comanche was a bold attempt to create a stealth helicopter, designed with a smooth fuselage, radar-absorbent material, red suppressant paint. Despite its promise, the program was ultimately canceled due to technological and financial challenges. Though the concept of stealth helicopters remains valuable for covert military operations. For several generations now, American aerospace designers have heavily invested in stealth technology. Most new fighters and bombers that roll off the assembly line are stealth airframes with radar cross-sections comparable to that of a bumblebee. Examples include the F-117 Nighthawk, the B-2 Spirit, the F-22 Raptor, the F-35 Lightning II, and the upcoming B-21 Raider. But as you might notice, helicopters are absent from that list, even though rotary wing aircraft are essential for attack, reconnaissance, and special operations roles where stealth capabilities would be incredibly useful. Conceptually, a stealth helicopter makes perfect sense. U.S. military planners thought so too, which is why considerable resources were dedicated to building the RAH-66 Comanche, a stealth attack helicopter. While the Comanche never fully materialized, the effort itself was commendable. So I would just tell you that the United States Army needs the Comanche. We are anxious to have the Comanche on the flight line, out there working every day with the men and women of the United States Army, active guard and reserve. We need the Comanche. I need your support, I need the support of the American people so that we can give this country what it expects, decisive victory as we face the challenges we face around the world. However, helicopters are inherently unstealthy. The turbine exhaust is loud, the tail rotor is noisy, and the fuselage vibrates heavily during flight. Helicopters are simply not well suited to moving through the air undetected. Yet, given these challenges, the fact that aerospace designers still attempted to create a stealth helicopter highlights how valuable such an asset would be. Stealth characteristics would benefit helicopters in any situation where undetected movement is crucial, which is most military operations. Whether it's fire support, troop transport, or reconnaissance, nearly every aspect of helicopter operations could improve with stealth technology. And of course, helicopters play a pivotal role in special operations, which are almost inherently stealthy. The RAH-66 Comanche made perfect sense on paper, prompting the U.S. Army to invest $7 billion into the program between 1996 and 2004. The Comanche was intended to replace the OH-58 Kiowa, a scout helicopter often exposed to small arms fire. Naturally, the Army wanted a scout helicopter capable of operating unseen. Two Comanches were built, featuring a smooth fuselage, radar-absorbent material coatings, and infrared suppressant paint. The Comanche also had a composite five-blade rotor designed to churn more quietly than traditional helicopter rotors.
However, the Comanche never entered mass production because aspects of the Comanche's technology were deemed too risky, that is, immature or underdeveloped, as Dan Ward wrote for Time. In the end, the Comanche was a financial failure. Yet one can still appreciate why the army pursued such a stealthy helicopter. The concept remains compelling, and the quest for stealth in helicopters is far from over.